Hello everybody, it's Pixel, and today we're going to be back with another cooking video, and we are going to be making honeyed jalapeno deviled eggs. Found it interesting to me too. What are we going to need for it, you ask? Well, we're going to need some cream cheese, mayo, vinegar, either corn syrup or honey. I only had corn syrup right now, sadly. Water, jalapenos, pepper, mustard, sriracha, and hard-boiled eggs which I'll give you a short little preview on how to make fast. All right, first up, we're gonna take our eggs and put them in a pan with cold water that's about above an inch or two above the eggs. We're gonna take that and put the burner on high until it starts rolling boiling. And once they start boiling, I'm gonna remove them from the heat. Make sure I shut off my burner. And we're going to cover them up so they can use the end of that rolling boiling heat to keep cooking for the next 15 minutes or so. And once our eggs have sat here for a while, we're going to be putting them in some cold water so they are easy to peel and the cooking process will be stopped. When our eggs are, you know, cold enough to handle, we are going to be cutting them in half and as you can see, scooping out all the yolk into a large bowl where we can start combining our food. Got our cream cheese. Mayonnaise. Our vinegar. We're going to put a good little teaspoon of our mustard in. About a half a teaspoon of our sriracha. Oops, a little more came out. That's okay. I like it spicy. Last but not least, sprinkles pepper. Alright, be back after I mix that up thoroughly and let you see how it looks. When we're done, we're going to have a thick, yolky consistency. I'm going to tell you I put probably another half a teaspoon or so of sriracha into this because I like it spicy because I really couldn't taste it at first. Now it's just the right, you know, flavor for me. If you don't like it a little spicier, just leave it at a table or a teaspoon. I'm sorry. But I'm going to put both of these into the fridge to let them cool until I'm done with my jalapenos. While that's in the microwave, I'm going to be putting our jalapenos into a warm pan. I'm putting our water in, and into that I'm going to put a little bit of my corn syrup because I did end up finding my honey. And there might not be enough for three tablespoons, but I'm going to put in as much as I can for this. Alright, we'll get some more of that out and I'll be back in a little bit when that starts boiling or simmering away. So our jalapenos cooked down, maybe a little too brown, but I don't think it'll ruin anything because I tasted one. They're still like candied and wonderful. We're going to be taking a spoon, getting us a couple of these before they harden up, putting a little bit on each of our deviled eggs. We've also taken the liberty of already stuffing our deviled eggs. As you can see, they're a little runnier than even I'd prefer, so in the recipe... I would probably either make a little bit more eggs for the egg yolks or put a little less of like the vinegar. All right, our eggs are done. Last thing is to garnish them with a slight little sprinkle of our red peppers. Not all of them because I don't always like red pepper. Enough of them. I shouldn't have let the jalapeno cook as long as it did because it got a little more candied than it should have. But I managed to get some on there and we should see how it is in a minute. Alright, our eggs are all done. Like I said, I put a little less vinegar in them. They are a little drippy looking, but that's okay. They look pretty good for me overcooking the jalapenos a little. Now, it's time to try it. I think if I did this again, I would slice up the jalapenos instead of dice them. That way they have a little more surface area and I can put like one ring on each egg thing. I love the spiciness that the sriracha gives it. 
overall the flavor is there. So if I ever made these again, I would put a little less vinegar or even just skip it. And I would slice up the uh, jalapenos into rings, not dice them. Because it made them cook up too fast when I wasn't looking at it and stuff. Overall, though, the flavor's there, and it's actually really good. This would be great for any holiday coming up, or any birthday, or any special occasion that you would need some pickled hints, or <laughs> some deviled eggs for. Alright, well, if you like what you see, have any suggestions beyond what I discovered, or want to try them out and let me know, leave a like, leave a comment, and I will see you in the next video. Thank you.